I just found a turtle. Who's this little guy? Hey, bud. Ah, another striped mud turtle. It's a little bit bigger than the one I found a few days ago. And unlike that one, you actually want to say hi and kick me. I appreciate that. Oh, you can see this one's a male. See the big curvature in the, the spine? That hurts. Stop doing that. I'm not going to hurt you. Hey, buddy. You're so cute. This is why they call them the striped mud turtle. They got these three yellow lateral stripes on their shell. They got pretty heads too. I'll get some cute pictures of you and then I'll let you go. Well, it took all the way till March, but I finally found another snake this year. And it's the first pygmy rattlesnake of the year. Found in a new spot I haven't seen before. It's a pretty small one. But these guys are pretty common, so I'm going to keep moving and see if I can find something else. On second thought, I think I'm going to get this guy off the trail. He's kind of close to where people could be walking. Come on. No. Don't be mad. I just want you to get off. Hey, don't bite my hook. Go that way. Oh. Bit my hook again. I just want you to be safe, little guy. That's probably pretty safe. I just flipped this and found my first eastern narrowmouth toad of the year. Hey there, little bud. Oh, you're so cute. Alright, time to go back, little guy. I just flipped this big piece of driftwood and underneath it is a six-lined race runner. This is the second time I've ever caught this species. They're probably the fastest lizard in Florida. I believe this one is a female because the belly is not blue. It's close. There's a bee harassing me right now, so that's why I'm backing up. Um, this lizard did bite me a couple times, but I don't think it was strong enough to break skin, so I'm okay. I know you're probably scared right now, but I'm not going to hurt you, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there she goes. There's a black racer right there. I wonder if I can catch it. There's a southeastern five-line skink on this tree. That racer wound up climbing up a different tree nearby. Doesn't seem like it wants to run away. Oh, there it goes. I just found this gopher tortoise. It's pretty big, but it's also missing a chunk of its scoots. I don't know what happened there, but you can almost see inside of it. I guess it's doing okay. I know these guys are pretty resilient. But I'll get out of your way, and whatever you do, do not cross that road. Capiche? And the first snake I found at night this year was this little ringneck snake. Just crawling on somebody's driveway. Right behind it was a very large Cuban tree frog, which I captured in that butterfly net. So I wonder if he was thinking about eating this guy. All right, I relocated this snake to my backyard where it's pretty safe. Got some cool pictures of him. He's actually showing off his bright colors. This is a defense mechanism to indicate that the snake could actually be toxic, which it isn't. I mean, they are somewhat venomous, but not dangerous to people in any way. And you're definitely not poisonous. 
So I'm going to release you right over here where you can scavenge for food and feel safe without getting hit by a car and hopefully not get eaten by a frog. Look at that humongous scarlet king snake. My dad just saw it on the neighbor's driveway. It hasn't moved an inch yet. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're probably gonna bite me. Um, I will get the snake to settle down and then we will get better photos and video. Uh, okay, so my dad just found another one in the same general area on the side of a neighborhood and it's just about as big as the last one. The other one's in the net right here, so we're gonna get both of them in there and see what happens. <laughs> Don't bite me, please. <laughs> All right, we got these two Scarlet Kings to calm down. This one is a lot prettier, a little bit smaller, and much easier to work with. This one is bigger. It's a little bit deeper in shed, a little feisty, but uh, finding two on the same night, I don't think we've ever done that before. My dad found both of them, and they're both really big, which is awesome. We only saw two of these guys last year, so two tonight is pretty awesome. Whoa. We're going to release both of these in our backyard where they'll be safe and appreciated. And hopefully we can find a third one. We only did half the neighborhood loop so far looking for frogs. You guys friendly? No? no? That. Yeah, try <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to try that. You got a glove, you give it a shot. Boop. Oh, I don't want to scare him. All right, I got them both wrapped around my hands. I'm gonna get bit any second. These guys love to chomp. I oh, don't bite him, no, stop. Hey, don't do that to him, let go. If you're gonna bite anyone, bite me, don't bite him. Jerk, not you, you, I saw you, you did that. This one's sweeter, at least he tried, at least he tried to go for me. Uh, I'm gonna put them in our flower bed. They will be safe, they can burrow underground. And we released a ring neck there, so if you find them, feel free to eat them. And don't eat each other, okay? I know you were the one that did that. I wasn't nice. Well, I just found a little ring neck snake tonight. It's very colorful. Must have just recently shed. But uh, we are at a location at night that is not our neighborhood, and we're going to go see what we can find. And already, with just being here for a minute, we got our first snake. Really colorful southern ringneck snake. Just found it right here, and I'm gonna let it go there. Hey, look what I just found. First eastern spadefoot toad of the year. Come here, bud. Oh, you're already peeing on me. Look at that. I love these guys. I wonder if you're the same one I caught last year at this spot. You kind of look like it, and it's the same area. But uh, probably too hard to tell. Either way, great find. I'm going to get some pictures of this guy with my new camera. All right, my little cute frog. You're one of my favorite species of frogs. I got some really nice pictures of you, and I'm going to go release you back where I got you. This is probably the same one I got last year in this spot, but it looks a little smaller. So, either the lost weight, or it's just a different frog. This is the general area that I found you at. There you go, little buddy. Safe travels. Well, I found this little house gecko in a neighbor's house and I decided to take it over to mine. And you might be noticing he broke off part of his tail. I'll show you the tail in a second, but I barely touched this guy and he dropped it. So, it doesn't take much to get them to lose that tail. That is a defense mechanism, and of course it will grow back just fine. Sorry about that, bud. I barely even did anything. You want to bite me as payback? No? Also, these are part of the geckos that cannot blink as they don't have eyelids. So, I'm assuming this light in your eyes is probably kind of annoying. Here, you can bite me, bite me as payback for losing part of your tail. I won't mind. Are we friends now? Okay, well you can stay on my house. There you go, bud. So here's the rest of that gecko's tail, and it's still wiggling a little bit. 
So basically they have really sensitive nerves here that can move on their own after detaching. And that's what triggers a predator to try to go after that instead. And the lizard will get away and regrow it. So kind of gross, but a necessary defense mechanism for a lizard that doesn't even have scales. So it'll grow back, don't worry. I like it's still wiggling. It's so cool. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please check out my herping videos from last year. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.